Hi, I'm Jason Bellamy coming to you from CSM 2016 in Anaheim, California, and I'm joined by Lisa Saladin, and we're going to talk about the movement system. And if you haven't heard about the movement system, you will start hearing about the movement system soon and consistently. It's going to be a big part of the future for physical therapy. Before we get to the future, let's go back a few years. The movement system and everything we're going to talk about here is related to the vision, which was adopted in 2013. Tell me how it's related. The movement system is one of the guiding principles. The vision had eight guiding principles, and the movement system is the identity principle that was adopted as part of the vision. Okay, so identity, we're gonna come back to that. The movement system itself, you, the task force was created, an identity was, was, or excuse me, a definition was created for the movement system. I'm not gonna ask you to recite the definition of the movement system, but in general, when I say movement system, what are we talking about, what does that mean? It is the anatomical structures and physiological functions that interact to move the component parts of movement. Okay, so let's bring these concepts together. So we've got this definition and then we've got this identity. So when we're talking about uh, the movement system and physical therapists adopting this movement system identity, what does that mean? Well, in part, it is really to talk about our professional body of knowledge. We want to be recognized not just for the techniques that we do, but for our body of knowledge. And our movement system is really the core construct of our body of knowledge. So today at the Component Leadership Meeting, which happens before CSM, there was discussion about this. Uh, one of the people talked about how this is sort of a common denominator that unites physical therapists together. You talked about how physical therapy isn't a verb and, and really I, I, embracing that identity. Kind of expand on that thought for me. So again, you know, um, patients talk about doing physical therapy. Chiropractors talk about doing physical therapy. We don't want physical therapy to become a verb. We don't have a hundred years of knowledge to be basically taken over by other people saying they can do physical therapy. So f to use the movement system as our identity, it will unite all of us around the concept that we are the movement system experts. So we're using this word identity, and, th and that makes me think of brand. Is this just a brand, something physical therapists call themselves, or is this more complex than that? It's much more complex than that. It really is about how we interface with our patients. There's too many therapists that really look at the patient by symptom or through the blinders of their particular specialty area. So it's really to look at the patient as a whole and all of the systems, the neuromuscular system, the integumentary system, um, all of the systems that interface, interact and really help the patient move. And it's us being able to diagnose and intervene with any problem of that movement system. So if we're talking about embracing a new identity or maybe uh, re-embracing an identity that's sort of been floating around there but be being more universal and if we're talking about looking at patients differently that's going to be big change it's going to happen over time and there's an event this December it's a summit on the movement system tell me about it and what the outcomes are supposed to be the movement system summit is December 8th to the 10th and we have two major goals or outcomes for that summit and the first is to have a conversation about diagnostic criteria and classifications and how we're going to classify the diagnosis of the movement system and the second major outcome is really to make a recommendation to the board of directors that is a plan or a roadmap for how we integrate the movement system into education practice and research so the movement system, again, it's, it's something you're going to hear about more this year, leading up to the summit and then coming out of the summit as, these, as uh, you reach these goalposts and sort of know where you're going in the future. Um, if you want to learn more about the movement system, there's information available on APTA's website, including a white paper that provides a good overview of what the movement system is at this point before you go into those, uh, that richer detail. She's Lisa Saladin. I'm Jason Bellamy. We're going to have more dispatches from CSM 2016. Catch you later.